Reading to you from the authorized version of the scriptures. Proverbs 22, verses 1 and 2. A good name. And there is none good but who? God. <clears throat> A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. So a good name, the name of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. See, we should be called Christians. Uh, you tell me what Christ you're talking about. Okay? You tell me what Christ you're talking about. Okay? And Christian is a worldly term that is found in Scripture. Okay? You cling to that in Peter, but you're, you're ignoring the context of what it's in comparison on to. Okay? So, drop it. But, what's more important? What's more important? You people are going to think of me what you're going to think. I can't control that. But see, we as saints need to remember the way we serve the Lord reflects Him. And you know who knows that really good? Our enemies. Our enemies. They know that really, really good. Hence, that's why they go like clear off in the left field or something like that, or the right field, excuse me, and just uh, totally make a mockery of the body of Christ. And also, Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. One verse, verse 12. Before, the, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. And Psalm 15, 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. You know, I think it's really appropriate. Praise the Lord. Really appropriate and neat. That um, the previous video... Uh, Angry Jonah. I, I, I like that. I like that. Angry Jonah. I like that. I like that. Uh, but in that video, I, uh, we talked about how, you know, we are to be humble. If we make a mistake, we make it known. We don't hide from it. We don't hide from the Lord. And in that video, I said to you, it's like when I make a mistake or when I'm shown that I've made a mistake uh, or an error, what do you do? Do you hide it or do you fess up to it and get on with your life? What do you do? Okay? I think it's really appropriate in me upon doing that video. Guess what? I did it again. I made an error in the Seven Spirits of God video. <laughs> Not how you think, though. Not how you think. Yesterday I was talking to a dear, dear beloved brother. Uh, I, I love the man. I love the man. Beautiful brother. Beautiful brother. He's going to go kicking and screaming. You watch eventually. You know, he's waiting until a certain age and praise the Lord. But anyway, I was talking to a brother yesterday and um, he brings it up. The error that I did, that I did, in the video, Seven Spirits of God. In that video, I believe I told you specifically that the word, the last variation of the word church appeared in Revelation chapter 3. Now, th this, is, this is a bad mistake because if I were a little bit more diligent, I would have known that. I would have found that out. But see... The whole point of the Seven Spirits of God video was not whether or not the church, the body of Christ, was going through the time of Jacob's trouble. That was not the point of the video. But I did tell you in that video, and this, this video will be pinned in the comment section, okay? But I told you in that video that the last variation of any type of the word church was in Revelation chapter 3. I was wrong. I should have known that. Okay. 
I made an error. And see, the way the brother uh, rebuked me on it, corrected me, was very gentle. He, he brought it up almost as a kind of like second place thing. And he, and he, and you could tell when I could tell when he was saying to, to me, he was like, he was like, oh, Brad, I love you, but uh, you no, know, he, he had that look. You had to see it. <laughs> he did. It, it was beautiful. Revelation chapter 22. Okay. Revelation chapter 22. Verse 16. Now, from Revelation chapter 4, verse, from after Gen uh, Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 4, verse 1 is the redemption of the purchased possession. Okay? You do not see the church mentioned at all, almost throughout the entirety of the book of Revelation, except for this one last appearance in Revelation chapter 22. But, pay close attention to how it is used. This is probably why I didn't, didn't do that, because look at how it's being used. Okay, This is important. Get the scriptures. Get your, get your copy of the authorized version. Read word for word, verse by verse. Okay, be a Berean. Okay, come on, check this out. Okay. Here is the final appearance. The final appearance. Uh, it's not 16. Um, it, it's not 16. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is 16. Because when I was looking it up, it was in Cambridge. and don't have red words. Anyway, Revelation chapter 22, verse 16. Check this out. I, Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And remember, in uh, Isaiah 14, verses 12 on to verse 15, Lucifer is son of of the morning, not morning star. Some Bibles in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 15, put morning star in there, saying that the Lord fell from heaven. Blasphemy. Okay? Be aware of that. Sun, uh, morning star, not sun in the morning. Look at how, this, how the word is being used in this verse. Okay? The Lord is revealing future events to John. Okay? Future events. Catholic, none of this stuff of Revelation. Christian, none of this stuff in Revelation has happened yet. It hasn't. Okay? And the stuff that's going to happen in Revelation, the majority of it, the, the, the whole shebang basically, is not for us today anyway. Okay? But, the Lord is revealing to John future events. So, he is just reassuring to John, hey, I'm telling you this stuff, what I'm telling you, share with the churches, okay? Look at, look at how that's being used. It is not a reference at all that the church, the body of Christ, is going through the time of Jacob's trouble. See, some of you twits out there who want to say, well, the body of Christ is going through the time of Jacob's trouble, uh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. You do not see the word church after Revelation chapter 4, after Revelation chapter 3, as being on the earth. But you see it here in reference to what the Lord is revealing on to John. See, it is not this right there, verse 16, does not in any way, because look at it. Okay? The Lord is revealing to John what is going to happen. And he's in verse 16 is saying, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. So what John was being revealed was to be given unto the bodies that are there. Okay? This does not in any way, shape, or form mean or prove anything 
that the body of Christ is going through the time of Jacob's trouble. It doesn't prove that at all. Okay? It doesn't. All right? And see, someone would like to say, well, there's church, so see? See? They would try to use this to validate that the body of Christ is going through the time of Jacob's trouble. It isn't. It isn't. Okay? It, Revelation 4.1 is clear. Come up hither. 2 Thessalonians is clear. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 is clear. Ephesians chapter 1 is clear. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is clear. You're not going to... You, you can deny it all you want, you wicked Christians, about denying the redemption of the purchased possession. It doesn't matter. The fact is, the fact is, there is going to be a redemption before the per, uh, redemption of the purchased possession before the time of Jacob's trouble. And it happens in Revelation chapter 4.1. That's when we get caught up. Okay, this is referring on to Jesus here is referring on to the bodies that are there present because he is revealing future events. This does not in any way, shape, or form say, prove, or any way otherwise prove that the body of Christ is going through the time of Jacob's trouble. The body of Christ is not going through the time of Jacob's trouble. You Christians are going to be going through the great tribulation. Yes, you are. But the saints, the body of Christ, is not going through the time of Jacob's trouble. We're not. We're not. That was my error. I was wrong. Please forgive me that error. I should have known better. I should have known better. And to be honest, I was, uh, I was actually very nervous doing that uh, video, The Seven Spirits of God, okay? Whenever you're talking about the Lord in such a way like that, you really got to be careful, you know, especially one who's speaking about it, okay? But that was the error that I made in that video, and it was about how uh, when the last uh, reference, and this, you, come on, okay, because you got uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Okay, that is the last, that is the last ref, or reference of any variation of church in scripture. Right there, I mean, it, it, I mean, it, 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 look, it, it proves itself, okay. So I made that mistaken error, and like I said, the, the brother, the brother, uh, just kind of, that, that, that loving look he had on his face, it's like, that, there's, and he did, he had this kind of look, it's like, Oh, Brad, <laughs> he didn't say that, but it, it said in his face, like, oh, Brad, you, you missed one. And then he told me, it's like, oh, oh well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that that's going to be, I just, ha I had to make this little video correcting my error, humbling myself before you, confessing my fault. Okay, I made a mistake. I made an error, and thank you to you. Dear, dear beloved brother, for um, keeping me in check. And like I said, this one is going to be pinned. This video is going to be pinned in the comment section. Uh, no one's commented on that, at least not that I know of. And uh, this video, and that video is going to be in the description box of this video. Okay, so I uh, got another video to do. Thank you. Thank you. You see, you gotta remember something, brethren. We're just mankind. We're just man. We make mistakes. How do you handle those mistakes? How do you handle those errors is important. So, anyway, that's gonna be it. Got another video to do, like I said. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.